Hey Eurovision fam, it's Alicia Michelle, and today we're taking it back. We're going way, way back 2010. Yeah, I'm doing a reaction video. Hey Eurovision fam, it's Alicia Michelle. From Washington, D.C. Music can be feeling and fireworks. I got a new video. I got a new video. What do you think? Talk to me in the comments below. You know it. I made it. Hey. Hey Eurovision fam, it's Alicia Michelle. I'm ready to go. Eurovision fam! Are you ready for the show? <laughs> I got a new video. I got a new video. All right, I was already taking a look down memory lane and so I was like, you know what? Might as well just throw it back, throw it back, way back. Yeah, so now we're taking it back, way back to 2010. I'm so excited to like dig into this because honestly, a lot of this stuff I probably don't even remember so um yeah let's take this journey play okay all right i mean now y'all know how i feel about uh alexander ryback at this point at this point but you know what he at least knows how to write a song <laughs> And put on a show because this is epic. Come on. Da -na -na. Oh dear. Oh, we're kicking it off with the UK. Wow. This was not good. Like, not good at all. Oh, terrible. That's so sad. Oh. Ooh. I actually don't hate this. Ooh, I forgot all about this. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, I do remember this. Yeah, this was a no for me. This was a no. Cause the thing is, it's like, even though it was 2010, you know, solidly sounding like, you know, 85, right? Oh my God, I really don't remember this. This is a no for me, though. Oh my god, I don't even remember that. Oh, I do remember this. Yeah, but not for a good reason, though. This is really interesting. You guys, you know what? It's like, my, my, how far we've come. How far we've come. It's so interesting to see so many stationary acts still. You know, so many acts really just not really giving us a lot on the stage. Just, you know, singing these songs. Yeah, this was a this was a no for me. I remember that. Yeah, this was a no for me. Her vocal was good though. Yeah, we all remember this. This is a hard no, hard pass. Ooh, 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 my, my, y'all. I do remember this. I do remember this. And actually, I didn't really hate this because I was kind of like, oh, well, at least it's like something like ethnic. You know, it's at least something different. Yeah, it was at least something. Okay, next. Okay. Okay. Oh. I totally don't remember this at all. <laughs> oh my god. This is like, really, this is just a test of Alicia. Like, are you old? And it's like, clearly you are. I actually like this. Yeah, I actually remember liking this. <laughs> okay. Wow. What? And like, we remember this. Like, everyone remembers this. I mean, it's a no, but we remember it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay. So we're getting less stationary performances. I mean, we're getting vocal. But it's still a... Ooh. 
of can you give me strength? The thing is, I remember liking this studio track and then seeing it live and being like, oh, that's what that was? I had no clue. Okay, let's, let's talk about the styling. You know, 2010. Cause this dress, I mean, we've, we've seen this dress at like Forever 21, right? What? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, what, what? Yeah, I do remember that, hey. Yeah, um. So the thing is, he's very good looking. And and that and that's a good thing, right? Ooh, I really like this song. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this is good. This is good. The production in it is good too, you know? It's not just the vocal, it's the production. Oh yeah. You know, the thing is, this this looks weird though. Coming from behind her, it looks a little bit like, okay, what's going on, you know? Now I'm gonna say something good. Um, I'm gonna say something good. Um, but it's actually, it's vocals. There you go, I said something. A. Hey, I liked this one. I remember being like, ooh, this is like ethnic. Okay. Yeah, this is a, this is a good one. Mm. And this one holds up. This one holds up. Oh, come through. Come through with the vocals and your guitar. Mm, lighters. Come through. Okay. Yeah, this is this is vocal. Oh my god, it's so crazy because I'm having like these like random flashbacks of like, oh my god, I do remember this. But if you ask me to sing any of this, yeah, um, this was like a throwback, even with a throwback. It's a throwback within a throwback. Throwback within a throwback. This holds up. This holds up. You know, it's like that. That's the thing is, did it feel dated then? You know. Ooh. Oh, I liked this. Hey. Oh, look at that. I like them lights. You know, actually, this stage was not bad. You know, pre-LEDs with just the lights, this is not bad at all. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Ayy, ayy, classic. I actually like this, and the thing is, I, I'm always iffy about like Eurovision duets a little bit. I don't know why, but I just am. But I remember liking this. Um, yeah, it was something about it. It just seemed like more organic. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, but let's talk about the styling. Because there's a lot happening here. And I mean, I guess it's nice to have a costume. You're on stage, right? Was that Barbara Jack set that year? Yeah. Ooh. And honestly, I want France to send something like this this year. True story. There is a reason why this is one of the most watched videos on Eurovision when they do their little monthly recaps because it holds up. It's current. It's a party. It's a bop. France, give us something like this this year. Come on. We waiting. Yes. 
Paula and Ovi, I said it in another video. I'm gonna say it again. I think Romania, I think it's time to bring them back. I think it's just time for them to make their Eurovision comeback. I think I'm ready. I think other people are, people wanna go down that road. We want, we want pianos. Yeah, just bring them back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, what? Whoa. You know, there's something about ethnic songs that are like a little bit safe because they, they're they able to kind of live, I think, a little bit longer. They're able to live beyond just the year because this still hits. Hey, it still hits. If you heard it, it wouldn't be like, oh, that sounds old. Oh. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't hate this song. And so when it didn't make it, to the final, I was actually kind of surprised because I actually really liked this song. And I actually kind of like it now. And then, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, so this is an unpopular opinion. I didn't like this. <laughs> Cause I just thought she was being real extra with the vocal. She was like being extra with the vocal, but not completely delivering with the vocal. Does that make sense? Being extra with the vocal, but then not quite delivering with it still. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, I actually really liked this. <laughs> like, I, like, I got it. It was kind of like, you know, I guess the angry woman type of feeling, but I was into it. I was into the epicness of it and I felt like the vocal was delivering I want like a nice like rock female vocalist back on the Eurovision stage maybe this year we'll bring it we'll see we'll see and this was my winner <laughs> yeah this is the song that I liked the most uh yeah can go a minute without your love like a satellite I'm in orbit all the way around you yeah okay this was my winner. I really felt like I don't see how this doesn't win. I mean, and then it won. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, and this song I think still kind of holds up too. It's just cute and a bop. Um, this was another one, a song where it was like, sort of like extra, like where it was like, oh, like where they look like they're doing it, you know? And so then you're kind of looking at them like, okay, yeah, you think you're doing it. <laughs> they said, come here, girl. I like the styling, though. I really do like the styling. Mm, okay. Oh, I love this. I did like this. And the thing is, this is like a Eurovision, like, classic, right? Like, this is a Eurovision classic. <laughs> and that's interesting, because, yeah, the Eurovision movie is going to be basically, I guess, focusing on Iceland. Is Hera Björk going to make, like, a, a little cameo? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I loved this song. And I do, I really do miss Turkey in the Eurovision Song Contest. I know some people don't, and I've heard like the different reasons and stuff, but I I do. I, I liked what Turkey served at the Eurovision Song Contest, so I hope y'all come back and give us more of this. <laughs> All right, well, that was my reaction. What do you think? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you agree with some of my comments? Talk to me in the comments below. Did you too kind of like look back and feel like, oh crap, like, <laughs> that was only nine years ago, but like how could I have like forgotten so much? I feel like I've forgotten so much, but you know what? I've forgotten so much because we have come far, Eurovision fam. We have come so, so far. Don't forget to like and to subscribe because you know I have more reactions and more commentary coming for you. Yeah, the Eurovision season, it's creeping up on us. It's creeping up on us. Rotterdam, the Netherlands, Eurovision. 2020. <laughs> Bye.